What is up? It's Pick Your Hunter, and today we're going to talk about the heart rate accuracy performance for the AmazeFit Balance 2 and the AmazeFit Helio Strap. And the strap specifically on the wrist and then on the bicep across baseline cardio, sort of low level zone 2 cardio, as well as lifting and CrossFit. For the Balance 2 and the strap worn on the wrist, we're also going to do a correlation chart to a heart rate chest strap. Uh, for an accuracy comparison, but we're going to look at the chart specifically to see one workout to the next, what you think of its accuracy when making decision whether you want to trust or work with or have the balance too, or the Helio strap from AmazeFit. It's interesting because AmazeFit was featured in this weird CrossFit article on Barbend as one of the primary health trackers. It was featured alongside Whoop, Aura, and Garmin. And Koros and Sunto and Polar were not mentioned as, as wellness or training tracking features. It was interesting AmazeFit was, and AmazeFit spoke a number of times throughout of it. So they're, they're definitely trying to full court press. The jury is still out. I am not quite sure if I'm just going to do a final review or if I'm going to do some more subset reviews because there's so much to this, like how does the training load and the training analysis compare to a Garmin over a long-term use, which I've actually gotten to now. How does the biocharge compare to Whoop Recovery or Garmin's body, body battery? Because that's a functional, those are two functional question marks as to whether this is, if you know, if you're new to the channel, this is the first thing you've watched. I've done a number of different subset reviews so far, specifically talking about the Balance 2, how without biocharge on the Balance 2, it is not a worthwhile device when it comes to wellness, recovery, readiness for the day, and sleep training, or sleep, sorry, sleep uh, score, sleep recommendations, because it's all just generic and highly rated. You know, you get in 80s every day, even though you're in the in the tank. So make sure to check those out if you haven't, because I think that's important. These are high quality looking devices. They are high quality, you know, functioning devices, but are the guts any good? And this is another component. So what we're going to do, and specifically for the balance two, we're going to look at cardio charts, the uh, accuracy at the wrist versus a chest strap, lifting and CrossFit, and then the correlation. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the balance to heart rate accuracy from the wrist, the Helio strap, cardio, lifting and CrossFit, correlation graph, my thoughts on the Helio strap worn on the wrist specifically, and then the strap on the bicep. We're going to look at cardio, lifting, CrossFit, thoughts, and thoughts all around. Okay, first looking at the balance too when on the wrist for low level cardio. You see it's got some glitches where it missed some of the hills. I was rotating between different machines, but trying to keep an average heart rate in the 130-ish area. Um, workout number two, definitely not bad, actually pretty spot on other than a glitch maybe at the beginning. And everything else looks great. Workout number three for cardio specifically on the balance two when worn on the wrist as I was warming up. It didn't get heart rate that high, but it looks like it did not catch a couple of those peaks, but it followed the flow throughout the core part of the workout. So looking at the cardio specific on the wrist, monostructural, but all wrist based. So I was doing ski ergs, rowing, and assault bike with like one leg to have a leg issue. So there was always a wrist function in there. So the cardio looks good. Okay, so now some lifting and CrossFit blended workouts when the balance two on the wrist. This is one that I posted as a sample set of heart rate accuracy just as I was going along. Obviously it missed that. These are all super heavy upper body intense because of the leg issue. I'm doing all sorts of you know upper body things and here's another one lower level heart rate and the the lifting a lot of upper body lifting and then the crossfit workout it actually got pretty close and another one with the lifting portion in the beginning where it it actually had some peaks and valleys that were very similar to the lifts themselves and then the crossfit portion it did keep up relatively excellently this was a very hard workout with the peaks heart rates in the 160 um and it did well there. And then here's another one that I just, you know, highlighted in a previous video. So I had typed out what I was doing. It held pretty okay in the lifting portion, although not as great, as well as sort of moderate in the middle as warming up for the class and then pretty well on the peak portions here in the latter part of the workout. And then one last one. Um, Pretty good in the lifting portion as heart rate got a little bit higher at 140, as well as the CrossFit style workout in the end. It had some bobbles in one point, but not terrible. Okay, now we see the correlation graph. So correlation graph just compares one heart rate 
point in time to the chest strap and it's coming in at 0.934 which is a higher level correlation from the devices I've tested. Apple Watch does get in the sort of 0 0.98, 0 0.97, uh, the Ultra a little bit less because it's heavier. Uh, Garmin's about 0.95 on their latest heart rate sensor and 0.934 is actually super competitive even though it does look like it has misses. You saw the charts um, but overall so you know this is the correlation graph and what do I think of this correlation graph? I think this is a strong showing. Um, I have in the past had Amazfit do well on some workouts and poorly on others and actually get progressively more poor in its accuracy over time so the algorithm was less functional but this is actually this is pretty solid when it comes to heart rate I still wouldn't use it for workouts because in those times where it did miss a lot of the peak heart rate I feel like that's the most important time to track if you want to get right training analytics is at the hardest, highest heart rates. So to me, when it missed a couple of those workouts in the peak portions, I think that's that's not, I would always wanna wear an external heart rate sensor, but this is how the Balance 2 did when wear, worn on the wrist. Okay, so now for the Helio strap on the wrist, specifically with cardio, with lifting and CrossFit, and then the correlation graph, the Helio strap on the wrist, so only on the wrist for these workouts. Okay, workout number one with cardio. It all looks really pretty solid. You see some some blips, but it followed the path. This is this is this is good. Um, workout number two with you know a similar type stuff. These are similar to the workouts we did on the balance two for cardio specific. It missed some of the peaks as I was rotating through the machines. Again, these are all upper body sort of like you know skier rowing. So they did affect the wrist area. Uh, workout number three. That's really pretty great. So low level cardio is turning out pretty, really pretty great. So that's how you know, low level cardio is looking like it's relatively reliable. When I go to CrossFit and lifting, this portion, it gets a little bit more hairy because you see it's not picking up the peaks of the lifts. So it's actually staying moderately on the bottom. And then for that hard workout, the back end, it didn't do a great job. Um, for this portion, it did pick up on some of the fluctuation of heart rate from the lifts in the lifting portion. And then for the second half, it didn't pick up some of those big peaks as the heart rate was spiking on those rounds for time with rest in between. This workout, you know, it looks like it's relatively tracking because the heart rate never got that high. It was obviously a glitch in the very beginning and a glitch right there in the middle. And then when it got into the CrossFit, it's okay. It didn't do terrible. Um, this CrossFit, lifting a CrossFit workout, it did okay in the beginning. Um, it actually held some of the lifts correctly as I got a little bit higher heart rate and doing some handstand walks. And then the portions on the back half, not that great. Not what I would want to have on the peaks, but still it's at least it's trending in the right direction. Here on this, this one actually looks fantastic from the wrist um, for the lifting portion, as well as a little bit lower heart rate intensity on the back half. So in general, so in general, not bad across the monostructural cardio, as well as some accuracy on the lifting and CrossFit portions, higher intensity interval portions, they're all upper bodies. Let's look at the correlation graph. Okay, the correlation graph, 0 0.906, as we compare it to the balance two at 0.934, or a Garmin Elevate 5 heart rate sensor at 0.95, and the you know, Apple Watch, 0 0.97, 0 0.98. Those are really good scores on the Apple Watch, and, and good score on the Garmin Elevate 5.0, I would say this is this is actually surprisingly good for an inexpensive sensor worn on the wrist. And I was doing all upper body type stuff. This is, that's that's pretty legit. Even though you can see there's inaccuracies, um, both on the low end and the high end, um, mostly it does look like it's actually peaking high in certain spots when on lower heart rates. Um, so it looks like it's overshooting in a lot of times, but that's gonna skew the results. But either way, I feel like this is, to me, this is enough sign that it would you'd want to have an external sensor, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible at all for monostructural. It actually showed really well. And then for in more intense workouts, you just have to be cognizant that it's not gonna, it's just not gonna do as well. It's an inexpensive strap at the same time. So I feel like this is a great result, but you take it for what it's worth. It's 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 not what I would want to rely on for the actual output workout analysis data, but it's it's not terrible at all. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the strap on the bicep. Now they don't make a bicep band. The other reviewers that have posted bicep bands, I couldn't get them to work for me because they just, they weren't long enough. 
Um, but I did have an old bicep heart rate monitor, which I was able to use the strap from that and do a makeshift bicep band. It's not perfect, but these are checked on first for cardio. How does it compare to a monostructural, but still all mostly upper body, upper body's engaged in all these monostructural workouts, whether it's assault bike or rowing or ski erg. And we're gonna look at it compared to lifting and CrossFit as well, compared to a chest strap, but this is the Helio strap worn on the bicep. So be cognizant of that for this part. Okay, so for the first cardio workout, you can see it, it's, it's like a mirror image. It's a mirror image of greatness. Um, for this cardio workout, really pretty much a mirror image. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's as good as it, you would want it to be. This cardio workout, a mirror image as well. So this cardio workout, really spot on everything looks really good for that cardio workout as well. So now let's check the lifting and CrossFit. So lifting in the beginning portion, it looks like a mirror image. You can't see which one's which, although they're overlapped on top of each other. That is really fantastic. And then in the CrossFit portion, it does look like it had a bobble at one point. Don't know what that was, but it really mirrored it in a lot of ways at the peak portions of the intensity portion. Um, this workout, you can see it overlaps, although it doesn't quite catch the peak. I do see this a lot with optical heart rate sensors when you're doing heavy, high volume, high, like this is what this was for the lifting. It was high volume, so it was like my heart rate was coming under compression with uh, more reps of heavier lifts. And it, it, it does look like it actually still kept up well as I would want it to keep up. Here you see overlap in the lifting portion, that's great. And then in the CrossFit portion, you see it missing some of the peaks at some of the points, but overall it hugging closely to the accuracy line. And then in this portion, you see like a mirror image again. So it is really just mirroring it other than a glitch there, but that was a unique, unique heart rate glitch where actually my heart jumped up to 205 just because I had like a palpitation and there you have it. Okay, so looking at the bicep across all of them, whether it's the lifting and CrossFit, whether it's the monostructural, I feel like this is as accurate as any of the optical heart rate sensors worn on the bicep that I've tested. So I didn't do a correlation graph because I feel like this, when you look at the content, it is a reflection of the workout. It is a clear and, and, and total reflection of the workout. Although there are some inaccuracies, I feel like I would rely on this or feel comfortable with this. Even to that one, that one is crazy because Optical heart rate sensors don't usually keep up with like a weird heart rate thing. I was upside down for a long time and my heart rate just has this sometimes where it just goes over 200 just for a glitch and it actually caught it. It, it, it had a glitch in what followed after compared to the chest strap, but, but it went up there and that is super surprising for optical heart rate sensor. So I didn't do a correlation, but I feel like on the bicep, the helo strap is awesome. So what do I think in general, the balance to heart rate accuracy when worn on the wrist for monostructural or I would trust it for monostructural. I would question it a little bit for lifting and for higher intensity interval training. Uh, for the Helio strap, I would trust it for monostructural. I would question it a little bit more for the lifting and higher intensity and interval training. For both of them, I think you could get by, you know, if you're mostly a monostructural trainer, it, you know, that's what you do. Your heart rate isn't fluctuating a lot, isn't peaking or spiking a lot. I think you could totally trust it there. Although if you wanted to get accurate workout analysis to use the training load and the training um, analysis overall, you would want to have your recovery time. You'd want to have probably a chest strap if you are doing higher intensity workouts. You'd want to have some sort of external sensor um, or find a way to put either of them on the bicep because we saw from the bicep, the helio strap on the bicep was what I would consider fully trustworthy. So I didn't do a correlation graph for that, but I would consider that to give you the same exact output as a, as a chest strap connected to one of these devices. On both, on the Helio strap, you cannot connect to a chest strap, but you can put it on the bicep and that hasn't been prob problematic other than the fact that they don't sell a bicep band, like I said a little bit earlier in the review. Other reviewers have posted bicep bands that may be a makeshift way to work and they don't fit my bicep, so they might not fit everybody's because it's not a true bicep band. It's just a wristband that stretches out really far. Um, so I'm sure they're gonna fix that because they're gung-ho for this, you know, for getting on the market. But on the bicep, I would trust the strap. And if you even found a way to put the balance two on the bicep, I would trust that as well because the accuracy has been surprisingly very good, even with higher intensity, all arm upper body workouts. Um, 
and you can easily connect them to a chest strap. I've had the Balance 2 connected since to a chest strap. It's been fine. It can, picks it up automatically, has no problems and no issues, and it's just been flawless there. Uh, you just set it up as a Bluetooth sensor that's connected, and then it just looks for it kind of all the time when you go to start a workout. It's been great. So that's my workout analysis. Stay tuned for more because I really want to get into the training load analytics to see if it's worthwhile there, as well as the biocharge from the Helio strap, which Darn well better come to the Balance 2 or the Balance 2's wellness recommendations aren't good. I did a video on that. I'll put those um, in the description down below, links if you want to watch some of those subset reviews. But the BioCharge compared to the Garmin Body Battery or the Whoop Recovery, just to see as I'm, I'm finding it to be of value. But stay tuned for more. It's the Figure Hunter. Thanks so much for watching.